Hey guys, Billy Costa here. I am thrilled to be back at Mass General Cancer Center. Happy to be talking to some very interesting, by the way, very cool people who are doing wonderful things to advance cancer research and care. So today I'm gonna to be talking with Dr. Matt Freegold and social worker, Lauren DeMarco, to learn more about the latest in CAR T cell therapies and really what it all means for patients. So now I'm talking with uh, Dr. Matthew Freegalt, Administrative Director of uh, the Cellular Therapy Service. I'm just looking to get a better grip for the sake of those people watching who may not know yet that CAR T cell therapy is here and it's doing wonderful things. What is it and how does it work? It's a personalized therapy that uh, re-engineers or re-educates a patient's immune system to recognize a tumor, a cancer, a lymphoma as something as bad and to reject it just like it would do for a bacterial infection or a viral infection and it's just really turning the immune system is one of the most powerful things we have against the cancer. And uh, again to be clear, once people have gotten to be a part of the CAR T cell program, they've already been through quite a bit, right? Yeah, unfortunately, the way we typically think about treating cancer, it's usually multiple rounds of chemotherapy, sometimes a bone marrow transplant. And with these newer and exciting therapies, it sounds kind of ironic, but when they're potentially high risk and we're still learning a lot about them, we'll very commonly require patients to go through what we would consider standard of care to get to a point where we think that we need to start thinking outside of the box. What do you see as the next big step with CAR T cell therapy? Oh, there's, I think there's a lot of area of growth right now. I think right now, a lot of our experiences in things like lymphoma, leukemia, and myeloma, we're starting to see successes in solid tumors like melanoma, lung cancer, cervical cancers. Those, those are really exciting for us too. We're learning on how to do this in a way that is cheaper and more efficient so more patients get access. Can you speak to outpatient CAR T cell therapy? We're building out the infrastructure right now to allow patients to come in for their chemo, get their cells infused as an outpatient, come see us every other day or once a day for an hour or so, check labs, uh, have some phone calls in the afternoon, check their temperature. But the goal here is to expand access to make it, I don't wanna say enjoyable process, but to make it more comfortable for patients to be around their support network, within their homes, within their friends and family, and also minimize contact to say healthcare facilities or other places. What can you say to people out there who are hearing it much like I did and are wondering, hey, I wonder if this is something we might be eligible for. What do you recommend they do? We have a team here at Mass General and I'm always happy to speak with patients to see what can we do for them and how can we help them. It is a rapidly growing field. We're seeing patients who have melanoma, lung cancer, head and neck cancer, solid tumors starting to respond to these types of therapies. And so just like I said, the, it's ever evolving. It can't hurt to ask because we're getting more and more clinical trials more and more experience in any way, shape, or form we can use these things to help people, we'll gladly do it. Well, doctor, great to see you again, and hopefully next time it'll be in person and we can hang out at the Cancer Center. I've got Lauren on the line right now. Hi, Lauren. I know you're in the social end of things, Lauren, so would you be one of the first contacts over there that a patient would have when they get word that CAR T cell is available to them? Social workers definitely see the majority of folks receiving CAR T cell therapy. We've integrated a social work assessment as part of the preparation for treatment. And the reason we recognize that's important is that people have already been through a lot of treatment before they arrive at the point right. that they need CAR T cell therapy. And that involves the practical logistic parts of preparing for therapy, but it also means that the coping and emotional support parts are being addressed as well, as well as that of the caregivers and making sure people are going to have what they need afterward. How would you describe the advancement since and how far CAR T cell therapy has come? We talked a few years ago when CAR T cell therapy first came to be and it was new and novel, and now it is a part of our standard of care. And so our confidence has grown and our ability to recognize that it brings really positive responses for people. That has only been seen more regularly since we last talked. And so we want to make sure that we're taking care of all aspects of people as they enter a new moment in their treatment. Well, we're so lucky to have Mass General in our backyard. Good to talk to you, Lauren. Yes, good to see you again.